It is time to recognize the people that I know they don't feel like they're heroes, but I'm sorry you are to us. Among the 18 MTA workers honored for their actions during the Sunset Park subway shooting two weeks ago was the conductor of the N train at the center of it all, Raven Haynes. She told us her main concern was getting on the PA system and telling everyone to get away. You really just have to do your job to the best of your ability and hope that your quick thinking and I want to say basic common sense would help you get people to safety. But the broader focus of today's MTA meeting was separate from the jarring attack, as the city still faces a continued trend of everyday violence on trains and buses. No longer, no longer. We're going to protect the people. Currently, the MTA's chair and CEO, Jano Lieber, is very focused on quality of life issues, specifically fair beating. And I think it's at the verge of becoming an epidemic. One the MTA estimates is costing about a half billion dollars a year. We pressed for details, and the transit agency arrived at that number by adding about 50 million in fines dodged by people obscuring their license plates while coming across bridges and tunnels, and also sampling how many times people jumped a turnstile or walked through an exit door or simply refused to swipe or tap onto a bus. It makes customers feel like suckers. And it makes them wonder, why should I pay the fare? More than that, Lieber insists it's contributing to crime in the system. The people who commit crimes don't generally slow down to swipe or tap. And we want them to feel like entering the subway system or entering our mass transit system is going to put them at risk of being collared, especially if they're carrying weapons. The MTA is putting together a committee to take a look at solutions to fair beating with a report due out, they hope, during this coming summer for implementation later in the year. Mr. Lieber insists this is not about criminalizing poverty, which critics often say ends up being the outcome for efforts like these. He says it's about going after people who are abusing the system, especially those who commit crime and even those who can afford to pay but are simply refusing to do their fair share. Live in Lower Manhattan, Henry Rossoff. Pixel 11 News.